Hi there, it's got a ukulele. Uh, this is an interlude video for you, not the review, that's coming tomorrow, uh, or depending on when I put this video up, you've probably already seen it. Anyway, a little while ago I did a video about uh, effects pedals, running my electric ukuleles through a multi-effects unit to give you a flavour of what the different effects do to an instrument. I thought I'd do a follow-up of that because down here I've got my Rob Collins solid electro tenor running into my guitar pedal board, uh, which I trust you can see all of them on, and that is then running out into the Blackstar amplifier. Now I don't normally put ukuleles through this, I normally use it for my Telecaster over there, uh, but I thought I'd give you a go because I like this pedal board and I wanted to show it off. Uh, so just talking you through it, and this is the general order you'd run these effects in, although there's no hard and fast rules for that. I've got the ukulele running into a tuner pedal, so that but doesn't make any, there's no effects on that. Basically you switch that on, it kills the sound to the speaker and it gives you a display up here to tune the instrument. My instrument is in tune. Uh, that runs into a compression, compression sustainer. I'm not going to demonstrate that with the ukulele either because you wouldn't really notice it. It's about evening out the dynamics on magnetic pickups and also building sustain and the ukuleles don't have a lot of sustain to start with. That runs into a fuzz pedal. So this is the clean sound but I put, turn the big muff fuzz pedal on kind of very smashing pumpkins, if you know them. That's running into a driver pedal. Now I, I would say I don't think fuzzes and overdrives really work that well with Pizzo pickups, but your mileage may vary, there's no rules. This is a driver pedal. It's a bit, it, it sounds a bit like a fuzz pedal when the gain is up. But it's more subtle and there's, all of these are so configurable, that's what all these dials are doing on, on here. Uh, that runs into a flanger, which I will just demonstrate. I'm not going to tell you. It's a kind of very spacey, almost 3D effect, wavering in and out. Very cure sound. And the reason I say that is that is running into an analog chorus pedal down here. And if I've got the chorus way up, and if you're a cure fan... the flanger let's turn off the chorus this is an analog delay pedal which at the moment I've got it set so it does a slap back so that's you get that immediate very very quick almost like a reverb but you can go to town with these and get some really funky or sort of really throw it off and get some feedback Turn that off. This then runs into my reverb pedal. Uh, it's on studio reverb at the moment, which is basically a bit of echo. It's, it, it's about making it sound like you're in a bigger space. But if I turn that on to uh, hall and turn the hall right up, we get. And then lots and lots and lots in between. I mean, some of these are so. Beautiful. something really weird with this one let's see what we got uh, so many how about this <laughs> Of that. 
that's running into a tremolo pedal. A tremolo pedal affects volume up and down. And I can change the speed of the, of the tremolo to very slow, and the depth. So I can have a really slow, moody. This is just a small flavor of the pedals that are out there. This is what I like for electric guitar, not necessarily what you'd like for, for ukulele, but basically what they are is these are the, uh, this is your volume control pedals. These are your distortions and overdrive pedals. Everything else is called modulation. So that is applying sort of sound spacey effects or reverb effects to the tone. Um, I hope that was enjoyable. I've been having hours of fun with this with the guitar, but I've never plugged the ukulele into it before, but actually I'm quite liking that fuzz. Yeah, that's actually working for me now. And you can put the whole lot on together, of course. Uh, I'm back don't know when this video is coming for the review might be tomorrow it depends when I put this one up which might probably be now so we'll see maybe I'll see you tomorrow there's a ukulele review coming round the corner isn't there take care hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching see you very soon bye